The new Bloon team is finally about to be released. Welcome to Bloon's Card Storm. If you're watching this right when it drops, then the game is going to be released like today in several hours. But we have an early access build here, so big shout out to Ninja Kiwi. As always, for allowing us to showcase these things in advance so that we could show you, well, what's up. The biggest thing in this full release of BCS is, of course, uh, the fact that there's a new hero, Amelia. So Amelia the Amazing is a magical trickster, and uh, with her, she comes with an adventure, a single player that mode that we're going to play with later, as well as card packs that are unique to, like, her. So uh, in this account, we have already automatically unlocked it. I don't know the exact details, but I'm sure there's a way to unlock Amelia normally. However, if you do want to uh, speed up your progress and unlock Amelia immediately, then, well, you can just go ahead and get it from the shop. And make sure if you do that, would appreciate it a lot if you use the creator code ISAB. Not necessary, of course, but much appreciated if you want to support what I do here. Now, onto cards. There are so many new cards that we didn't see in the previous beta. So it's definitely been overwhelming to look at all of that. Obviously can't cover all of the new ones here, but I'm going to go through them slowly in case you want to take a gander. Now, I have made previous videos on beta versions of Bloons Cardstrom if you want to check out those later to get a better understanding of how the game works, because that's where I explain a lot of things. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and jump over to the deck section where I already like kind of threw uh, an Amelia deck together. But first off, let's take a look at her hero abilities. With four Bluntonium, she gains a passive, a Bloon Shield that puts it on the last friendly Bloon every single turn, active power for 10 Bluntonium makes your power cards cost four less, and for 18 Bluntonium, her grand ability is Grand Disappearance, removes target monkey. And here's the deck I put together, which I'll explain more once we're in-game playing with it, but you can take a peek for now. Now, because I'm so overwhelmed with the amount of new cards there are, I'm kind of lost in the deck building aspect, so please forgive me if this deck doesn't look like doesn't look like it synergizes well. Because I did really want to showcase some of the new power cards, so like, for example, some of Amelia's unique cards. Hero uh, Protection reduces the next damage received from an enemy to zero. As well, we've got a 10 gold prestige. Summons four friendly boons, destroyed this game from the graveyard. Indeed, we've got the BCS version of uh, Monster Reborn. And now for the single-player adventure. This is where we can check out Amelia's adventure. We'll go ahead and start with a prologue. Medium difficulty. Who is the greatest wizard monkey of all time? Perhaps Quincy and Gwen No. And it looks like we have to win three games in order to complete the prologue of this. Looks like there's some special effects too. The opponent starts with three gold here. Remember me? We met in the tutorial. I just beat Gwen. She had a wizard out early. Which made it tricky, but all the wounds she sent just couldn't get past my arrows. Indeed, let's play a game. And again, pick an Amelia. So let's do it. And they got the workshop skin finally added. All right, so what should we start with her, with her starting at? Well, first off, I think the BFB is too much money. We don't need quick ready yet either. It's better as a finisher. Don't know if I want to keep that power as well. It just allows me to uh, choose one card to add to my hand. If it's a balloon, it's cheaper. Sure, I guess I'll keep it for now. So you can do anything this turn. Ooh, we got a wall fire. So this is one of the newer monkeys that were not in the previous beta. Can't do anything, so enter in. But yeah, again, judging by how Amelia's, like, um, abilities are very offensive, I have a lot of, I guess, balloon cards more than tower cards. Again, hopefully next episode with the help of you guys, we can help craft a much better deck, because um, I'm honestly not really a big fan of this deck right now. I think I, again, do nothing this turn. Just let the tech sit there for now. He's got a discount balloon, all right. So I guess that adds up over time. The next one will be four, then three, etc. Can we make a play this turn? I think we can try. Because we want to at least get to the, like, um, gaining the balloon shield. So uh, if I do this and a, I guess, a green, that's all right. Or I'm okay with that turn. The shield will land on the shield balloon. I don't know if that's the one I want, but the longer you keep it alive, I guess, the uh, the more shield we can gain. And we're going to take 100 this turn, so I probably should... Oh, crap, I didn't... I should have budgeted gold for Wallfire. I'm already making blunders, and it's the first... <laughs> the very first game here. Not a good look. I think I'm just personally going to tank all of it. And just continuously keep going for balloons. Now, do I do another shield balloon here? I'm going to say, nah. Let, let's keep the pressure up, because the tech is going to have attack go on cooldown, so... If I do a 2-1-1, one, one, that is a lot of pressure, I would say. 
All right. I think that's an okay turn. And a stun guy's balloon. Okay, another new balloon. If it's damaged, the monkey's stunned for a turn. Ooh, this is not good for my triple shot. I guess that's mean, that means it's a wall fire angle. And we've got Reinflator that summons one random friendly balloon. I would say we should, um, like, go for a defense right now. Yeah, let's do wall fire. Defender, so it does five extra damage. And that's it to the turn. It'll take a big punch this turn. But again, maybe it might have been worth it to, like, just, like, just tank the 45 lives and get something else instead. Bio Boomer? Ah, that's gonna do a number. Is that enough to... No, not enough to one-shot the shield gas balloon, so that's good. Damn. <laughs> 120 shield on... 150 shield on this one. Right. I think, again, the AI isn't perfect. It's actually rather dumb. Because you just... He just, like, gave four shields to the yellow. Oh, also, isn't this perfect for this round? Uh, Hero Protection reduces the next damage from any balloon to zero. Now, is there a way I can make the Wallfire not attack it? Or will it, like, still attacking at stun? So maybe in that case, I just let it be. Yeah, I'll let it be. Forget. I think I'm going to try to get to 18 and 18 and then remove the Bye Boomer. That would be the dream. So let me spend four this turn. And, uh, sure, another Swarm. Keep the pressure, considering... His Bio Boomer is reloading. And that's it. More shields. He's not far off from losing, because we can just spawn a pink balloon. And that's GG. Uh, these swarms are nothing, because we got a triple shot. Ready to be locked and loaded. Don't know if that mortar's going to really save him either. Alright, Quincy. And it looks like all those shots will give us... Put us down to 90. Yeah, and see... The wall fire did get stunned, so I don't think it was a good idea to have used this. And okay, uh, another new balloon. Growth gas balloon on damage. All other friendly balloons gain 20 health, which is good if there's a lot of balloons on screen, but obviously uh, we have nothing, so uh, we shouldn't use that yet. I think this round is, again, rather obvious. Triple shot to do this. And do we want to... I think I want to use a power here. Let's do for my next trick. I'm not going to use the um, the save for gold. Just because uh, I want the balloon Tony right now. And, ooh, I like, hmm, a one gold yellow balloon is very enticing, not gonna lie, but I think I'll take a three gold ceram. And the fact that we get two charges of three, it's pretty nasty. I like that combo if you, like, have cards or balloon cards with multiple charges that you can use. I think this shield balloon is sadly all but gone this turn. All right, that's okay. You did your job there, so... We appreciate that. Ooh, and quick ready. Sadly, can't do anything this round about it. And this sucks with this troll dart, dart monkey. If I use it, it's gonna get stunned no matter what. But it's still worth it to use, right? Like, I gotta say yes. Let's just use a wall fire. 40 per turn. Uh, and I'm gonna try to aim to use um, hero protection on the ceramic leak here. That's my goal. And also, boom. Now we're 18. Let's remove target monkey. Even though the attack or the boomerang is on two cooldown, frick it. I just want to get rid of you. It might have been better to use attack, but I... I don't know. I just feel like using it. And I could do another Saram, but let me actually do a pink first so that I get to the passive so that the Saram gets shielded even more. How is that? And let's see how he defends this now. Uh, what's this? Rapid shot. I haven't seen that power before. But okay, it looks like he does 90 damage. Ooh. Okay, that's unfortunate. Damn, he really destroyed all, all the Srams in one turn there. Crazy. So, 11 gold now. I think we're definitely just going to activate this. Yes. So now we have a shield and we don't want to pop this one. Okay. It doesn't actually matter that I get stunned, so that's nice. Okay, and we have enough gold to just do 5 and 3. Do we do it? Yeah, I don't see why not. Eventually, we'll get him. And turn. Again, it's good. It's great with mortars because, uh, like, it's completely random. So we can, we can only hope that we land on it. Sadly, we don't have a bunch of other balloons to gain health from because it's all balloons on screen. We only have two. So not that useful. Damn, is really Quincy really going to stay alive? That mf -er is. 
Oh, wait, no, no. I think we, we're gonna get him. Ouch, also, how the hell will he get down to 40 lives? Close call, but GG, because I am going to activate this. Quick ready the ceramic, and that's game. All right, GG, and that's the first adventure done. Let us continue. Hair reveal from Amelia. And now battle two against Gwen. We've got two effects. Opponent starts with full Bluntonium, and Gwendolyn starts with a Bernie Stuff Mortar, so... Damn, we've got some AI opponents, but very tough AI opponents. Have I considered adding some fire to my deck? Nope. <laughs> Other than wall fire, that's all I got. So, Badlands, uh, ooh, deals 10 damage to the other hero every single turn. So, perhaps this makes up for the weak AI aspect. The fact that, like, um, the AI, ha the AI has cheats. You, you can start with the hero in full bloom to him. It's crazy. I'm gonna just keep these starting cards. I don't know if that was good or not. I know I can't do anything, though. And I might have to toot my deck, like, like because of, like, these, like, knowing that she's gonna start with the uh, Bernie Stuff Moya, which means my... Uh, early game aggression probably gets stunted. I think I'll probably wait for a mob, yeah. Moab, but another balloon too, so that Bernie, or Bernie Stuff Mortar, ideally, doesn't hit it. What's this balloon? On popped, remove attacking monkey. So at the very least, that's, it's only on pop, so I can at least still do 20 damage to it. And for that, I'll do it. Like, easy counterplay, just keep it alive, but don't completely destroy it. What's this? Strengthenator? Uh, on turn start, increase the delay by one. Other friendly balloons gain 20 health. All friendly balloons? That's kind of nasty. But it is very weak and, like, has so many turns, so maybe that's not too bad. So, yeah, we'll eventually whittle down with this. And you don't want to burn any stuff, otherwise there's a chance it might remove from the Toxic Balloon. Forget I'm gonna end my turn. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to stack the Moab Q and the green at the same time, so the Bernie has less chance to do anything. Although, that does give him one more turn to, you know, <laughs> get in a, more towers down like that wizard. Oh, we got That's not going to be very useful. Do you want to do a mix of defending this this turn? I think I think I want to try. So, four gold for Bernie Stuff Mortar, which is eight gold for still a Moab and a Green Balloon. What do you think I'm okay with? And this Moab will continuously gain shield. Lovely. And end turn. Six gold is enough to queue another mob next turn as well. And Gwen used two firebombs. Okay, AI is, again, not very smart. It's better to use the firebomb on the Moab. Well, okay. She might have heard me say that. But, yeah. Not that ideal of a turn from AI, Gwen, considering that now she's so far off from Flame Strike, the level 20. Part of me so badly wants to keep defending this, but... Maybe I just keep going aggro? Also, like, um, how does this work? Does this mean the Bernie, like, will burn the shield and not the balloons here? Which would be nice. It would save us a good amount of damage. I think I'm gonna try. Sure. This. And... Alright. 160 shields to everything. And let's see if it... If it does. Okay, it burns the shield. That's awesome. That saves... Or that got an extra 60 damage through. Huge. But now we got growth balloons we gotta deal with, so... I think I need to drop this next turn. Oh, that's a lot of growth balloons. Crap. I would like a full clear at this point. Because I don't know if these towers here are enough. For all that. But okay, Bernie here. We need the Dart Monkey to hit at least three of the growth balloons. Or two of the growth balloons, so... Like that, I guess? I don't know. I feel like I'm in a rough spot with the fact that I can't, um... I don't have any more towers. I think I would probably... I might try to go for the quick ready. Like, make it cheaper. Same as last game. Because it's very close. I don't know if this Gwen can do enough damage. I just need to survive... Like, one more turn here. But even that might be a bit of an issue. Actually, no, no. It, this is now one turn left. Wait, no. Oh, okay, no, no. Looks like that power card uh, destroyed... Her own friendly balloon. <laughs> That's okay. And yeah, I think that's GG. Let's, uh, queue it up already. And just for memes, let's activate this. Let's summon a random balloon. What do we get? I love me some RNG rolls. Wow, a green balloon. Awesome. All right. Despite the fact that Gwen had a huge head start, uh, she still died in eight rounds. Unlucky. And now for the third battle. It's Amelia versus Amelia. 
What are the extra effects? Monkeys take two... Oh, that's not good. Extra turn to reload. And starts with 50 extra shield. Welcome one and all. I'm Amelia. Amelia the Amazing. Sure you've heard me mention of other powerful wizards, but let me reveal to you why I am the greatest monkey wizard of all time. So I'm going to just do a quick edit. Because monkeys are weaker, one turn monkey specifically, let's get rid of those one turners for things that like have a longer reload. So they're technically more DPS or just less monkeys in general. Okay, I didn't get rid of every single uh, one turn monkey, but I got rid of a lot of them. We are going tweaking today, folks. Deck tweaking time. Okay, so this time I got rid of even more monkeys for powers. Since powers are nerfed, uh, I've had some. I got some defensive powers. Uh, let's reroll basic protection. Uh, frick it, even this power too. All right, I'm okay with that. Wow. This turn, sure. Let's put the pressure instantly with a swarm, a swarm blue. Can't do anything again. Um, let's just see. I can spawn a ceram if I don't spawn a swarm blue here. So I think I'm gonna try for that. Break the shield. Nice. Amelia's gonna do a yellow. I could sniper to defend that, or I could just tank it. Yeah, I think it's probably more value to tank it. Actually, instead of doing a ceram, I should I, I should do a yellow and a green. Because that's a one turn cooldown, which puts even more pressure on them. And the shield spawn, too. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Putting a one around against a one rounder. Okay, maybe I should drop a sniper now. <laughs> Or maybe not. Like, the fact that it has a shield means, uh, that means the sniper will only do 45 damage instead of, uh, well, uh, 75. I think, I, th I think I might just straight up get close to winning here. Just by continuously applying pressure. So another three, and another one. And yeah, Amelia's gonna tank a hell of a lot here if she doesn't drop something soon. Wouldn't it be crazy if the AI just lost on round five? With all these buffs... Hmm, I am on a timer again, though. If I don't drop something to defend this. Oh, or I could just again do this. Yeah, this is this is more value for, for the early game here, which is important. So I'm still gonna... Maybe I should have used the, the cheap thing, because if, like, if the game's gonna end early. Regardless, I think it's, like, close to game. Spawn a green now. And end the turn. And that's gonna get shield now, and they're dead next turn if they don't have something. Ah, boomerang. Is that going to be enough with the shields? Let's see. Uh, they used overflow damage on the uh, thing there. Yeah, they're dead. Well, that's not how I expected the third battle to end. Truly riveting gameplay. Anyway, GG. Let's spawn cards for fun. See if we get anything good. Nah, all right, GG. Well, that was um, anticlimactic. But we did it. We completed uh, the prologue. We got some rewards to show from it. 500 universal tokens, which you can use to buy, unlock new cards. And now for the challenging adventure. Amelia is an up-and-coming magician with stars in her eyes. She can't wait to be the main attraction at the big top. And she's ready to prove herself. So, holy crap, we've got a lot of battles. Seven, eight, and having two. So that's very interesting. Industry out here creating a very interesting PvE experience. So I'm obviously not going to be able to cover all eight acts uh, today. So I think I'll just do this one last, the first act of this challenging, just so you know what's up. And I can't see what this effect is, but guess we'll find out. With magic surprises, everything. Some monkeys prefer to control a battle, but I like the chaos. Let's have a game, and then I'll tell you my story. <laughs> okay, what is this? Opponent starts with full, full Bluntonium. Ah, so you, we pick a random card, and that's the random uh, power that we get. And we got the workshop map, so one extra starting card. We don't need quick ready. We... Uh, I low-key want to keep them all up around, but... Eh, I don't know. Let's actually reroll supply drop. I think it costs more money now. I don't recall exactly. But I swear it cost two gold before. Or am I tripping? Wow. Uh, double wall fire, not a great look. Indeed. Oh, and the fact that she starts with full Bluntonia means maybe I shouldn't do a, a monkey or have gone too many monkeys because she just get rid of it immediately. Or she could just use that. Um, okay, so we don't have to worry about that then. But we do have to worry about the, the annoying passive that's in the way. I think I have to try to at least defend this, yeah. Sure. Alright. 
take night next turn. Oh god, I am so screwed. <laughs> I can't afford, like, it'll take two turns for Wallfire to come up. Oh, I do have a lot of balloons here that I could maybe try to queue up. Or do I keep on waiting? Uh, let's do this, so I can at least get Wallfire next turn. Not a mob, but a Wallfire. Just a singular green. I don't know if that's smart, but it does force maybe something, or just just free damage. Uh, yeah, that's not very smart about AI. A quick ready for 60 damage. Okay. I mean, it does hurt me early, but... Yeah. Now would have been a great turn to pull the Moab, but fine, I guess we'll do this. I still want to kill the Moab next turn, so I'm not going to kill the green. We'll just let it be and shield the yellow instead. And there's the wizard. Okay, so that's, again, got my eye set. Only grand disappearance there. Prestige. Uh, I really want to use this, but only if the game lasts long enough. Dilemma. Save 45 or queue up more balloons. I think I just low-key kind of want to drag the game out. Maybe a wee bit just to see what had happened here. We can also still queue up a green, though, for big damage, but yeah. I probably would have been able to kill him if I just spent the money on yellows, but... Just want to see what Amelia the bot will do here. Quick ready? Okay. Uh... We're alive still. That's that's okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. That should be the last quick ready, although though I know there are cases where they might have three. Let's queue him off for fun. And I end my turn. So we basically win in four turns. It, again, would have been one if I just sent yellows, but... I am greedy and I want to see the game out. Even if it means we may lose. Uh-oh. I hope we don't lose here. I will have basic protection up if I want to use it. Or should I save it? 230. Uh, yeah. So this will put us down to uh, 190. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta double wall fire this up. And I could use a power to uh, like use your protection, but I don't think it's worth it if it's only going to take a little bit of damage here. I won't die. Muscle crunching numbers, I think it's worth it to use one. Because Defender will, like, this will go down to 65 with fire. It'll put it down to 20. And this will overkill damage, so you actually want to do this. I think. And that's all I can do this turn, unless I want to spawn a hero card, but nah. Nah. Well, we'll stay alive for another turn here. This is so risky when I could have ended it. <laughs> On round 5. Let's see, did I do the math right? Yep, 35 next turn. Uh, so I need to do 80 here. That should be fine. We have more than enough. So if I'm doing the math again here, uh, 45, 45, uh, 5 more damage taken. Okay, I can handle that. Alright, frick it, we're going big as well. I want to use Prestige. So we're going to get a 6 cost and spawn... Oh, right, we only killed 3 balloons. Oh, no, we got 4. Oh, that's, that's nasty. I love that card. Because there is basically zero chance they... Defend it, I think. Right? Cherry on top do this too. And that's it. 480 next turn. Only a Super Monkey Storm can save that, but I think, uh, yeah, Amelia did not. Does not have that in her deck, so GG. GG unless quick ready. Don't you dare pull a quick ready. Nope, we're good. We are good. Just for the cherry on top again. <laughs> Let's spawn one more green. Shield every balloon too. Just for the heck of it. And goodbye, Amelia. 385 overkill damage. Okay, I lied. That game was really short, so one more. I mean, this time. As a kid, being a white haired monkey, it made me stand out. But my over the top ideas were more of an issue. There were many other kids asking so many questions about magic or how to do magic to balloons. Okay, um. I don't think we want. Growth gas early, nor this because we have no balloons, nor this. Okay, it's all towers. Wow. Okay a then. Illusion. So the effects this Your game teeth. are Amelia starts with a free Ooh, red balloon and a free dart monkey, and full balloon totem as usual. Oh man, that 40 damage. I'm quivering right now. And that 20 damage 000 darts. Broken. And they use their cheaper powers to use a free. Supply drop, it seems. Now, I could legit save 40 HP just by dropping a sniper. I think I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Why not? 
Never know if the 40 damage will matter later. Plus, I don't have a balloon to send out. So, why not? Ah, swarms. Okay. This is a good triple shot angle. Cure protection. What do you need to protect? You're not at any danger right now, Amelia. Anyway. Yeah, we just have to kind of go full defense up at the moment. Nothing we can do. More swarms. Yep, this is going to be another triple shot angle, I think. Thank goodness we pulled two of them in the early game. Well, actually, there's no need to triple shot that single balloon. In fact, guess I'll just use a uh, sniper shot on this. Yeah, sure. And yeah, there's so many, like, one cooldown towers here that, nope, definitely do not. We do not want to queue up balloons at the moment. We want to stack them all at once. Or do something along the lines of that. I'm okay with maybe a, a longer game. I feel like all these games so far have been pretty... Uh, ended pretty early. And shield every balloon here. Okay. I can drop all my towers right now. I think it might be worth doing. Yeah, definitely worth it. Worth it. So this will break the shield of everything. That sucks, though. The fact that I am... Like, basically, their the shield negates all the damage. Not ideal at all. Wallfire OP, though. That'll save a good amount. Yeah, maybe it would have been worth it to not even drop a triple shot if I knew it wasn't going to help. It would have saved, actually, 20 shield, but... I don't know. We have to live with that decision. It's okay, we got a full set of D right now. Protection time. 295. Quick ready. So again, I still don't think I want to, like, spawn a balloon out. I'm serious. Maybe I can wait for a power card where it buffs the it shields the friendly balloons. And we can make a nasty combo. I mean, why not? As long as we're not overflowing gold. Oh, and that was huge. <laughs> we used the shield on, like, a 5 damage yellow or something like that. That's why you don't pre-prep the shield unless, like, this... Unless you know how much damage you're taking. Or if you're actually going to die. 185 next turn. Yep, that's what I was talking about. Well, I want—I think I wanted another one of these balloons, but... For now, let's just focus. Focus on maximizing damage saved, so... Uh, want to let this do Defender. And I think I overflow gold and wait one more turn, okay? Just one more turn, I promise. And then maybe we'll have another uh, extra balloon card to play around with, or just card in general. Uh, my fear is that, like, like... They have five full towers on screen. And a triple shot. So that zero, that free Dark Monkey was useless the entire game. <laughs> Helped defend zero balloons. Dude. Another shield gas. Now, I think I want to try using the Cure Protection on the SRAM here. Because I, I can get away with it if I just focus everything on this. I think it's a value play to use it on a 300 damage thing, even though... Defender is not being used there. It should work, right? Yeah. Should turn that to zero. Unless it only, like, defends the 10 shield damage. I don't think it works that way. But anyway, uh, we gotta go big now, right? Shield? We can go massive on shield, I think, yeah? I wanna queue the whole field up. I really wish I had an Embiggen, or again, one of those power cards. But we're doing it this turn, I have decided. Just spam the hell out of all these... Yeah. Ooh, all the way up to six, 0 to 16 in one turn. That's crazy. And they're going to take 400 next turn, although they could probably delete a good amount of that. I would bet. Another blue. Come on, mortars, please land on the shield. Ah, unlucky. Nice. That shield was huge. We did indeed save. Oh, that's awesome. This is what I wanted, guys. The pack protection. He protect, but most importantly, he attack. Again, first things first. Uh, do this. And I could use the, uh, uh, Grand Target Disappearance to maybe save... Or do 70 more damage. Is it worth it for the tax? I think so. Given we have so much pressure, Amelia probably dies next turn. I would think. Let me just, uh... Do the following first. Actually, no, no, no. We don't want to use this because, uh, Like, the shield already tanked a good amount. Maybe we'll save it for, like, one more turn. If that makes any sense. Even though, like, it won't negate all 70 damage on the attack. Just, uh... <laughs> let me let me cook here, I guess. I don't know. So, let's see. Uh, yep. Attack saved just a little bit there, but maybe I can save this for, uh... 
another turn. Just hopefully, yeah, they're damaging the Shieldblin so much. This is bad for them. Yeah, uh, yes, keep doing that, Mortars, keep doing it. <laughs> you love to see it. Okay, I'll be uh, I'll be good for now again, uh, as long as there's no quick ready on their side. I can quick ready to win now, I think, right? Yeah. It's GG. Nice try, Amelia, but your tricks will not work today. Hell, I can even just drop, like, the pink balloon as well. And yeah, we'll just overkill it. And draw two cards just to see what we would have gotten. Would we have gotten anything decent? Eh. Alright, enough lolly and GG. And that's uh, battle number two complete. It only gets tough from here, but I think that's enough battles for today. So stay tuned, because I'm definitely going to continue with this adventure. But I also want some more expertise, so uh, I'm going to use this time between now and then to uh, get a better deck and just gain some more expertise. So thank you very much for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed. And I do hope you enjoy this game, watching this game, as much as um, I'm going to be enjoying playing it on release. I know card games aren't much my forte and very far removed from BT6, but it's definitely a nice breath of fresh air.